peace, my good people. Peace. Hope everybody out there having a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Always peace in the heart and knowledge seeking on the mind, man. Touch base with my people, man. I know I've been gone for a minute, man. Just been having to sit back, get my mind right, man, get my meditation right. And of course, absorb more knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But my people, the time is now for us to come together. I know a lot of y'all have been focused on these Federal Reserve accounts. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's shocking information to some, but to most of us out here, this is old information. And this information that you kind of supposed to have been on, so you need to dive into that, but you got to see the bigger picture in that information that we are all physical and mental slaves <laughs> to a system created and plans that have been made hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Their plans have been made hundreds and hundreds of years ago. One more time. The things that are happening in our life, the way they are happening, they made the plans to make that happen hundreds of years ago. All right, my people. Now, if you are having some effort, I said some effort. If you're not, if you're having some problems with the MCA, all you have to do is call in and verify. I am running strong with MCA still. Still running strong with MCA. All right. Boom. You see it right there. I'm still running strong with him. Still an eligible associate. I just got my deposit today, my direct deposit today. When I go get the cash, I will show the cash. If y'all want me to show the cash, about, you know what I'm saying? It's about coming together and realizing that we need to be in peace right now and we need to be together, be spreading love and positivity to everybody around us. But y'all see what I'm talking about. And like I said, if you're having some problems with MCA, all you got to do is call in to the number 1-8. Hold on, let me go to it for y'all. Call in and just verify the account. That's all you got to do. Just call them, just like with the reversals. Call these folks. Boom. This number right here. Oh, you see this live chat? Go right here to the live chat and talk to them. And get the number that you can call to verify your information. But I'm telling y'all right here. Boom. That's all y'all got to do, man. For the MCAs and for the reversals, man. Just calling in to these people, man. They know it's real. They can say whatever. And they whatever propaganda news blogs or whoever, they're going to put whatever dirt out here on this information. <laughs> but guess what? It's the reason why CNN, it's the reason why ABC, it's the reason why Fox ain't put it out there. They put out the real deal propaganda. So if this is real deal propaganda, why wouldn't they have that shit on there? We got to understand, my people. They've been doing this for a long time. Y'all see what Bitcoins is doing, man. Cryptocurrency is taking over. <laughs> taking over. This 19 hours ago. Updated 18 hours ago. NBC. CNBC. Y'all see it, my people. Just letting y'all read a little bit. But to go over what this article was talking about <laughs> is how Bitcoin is taking over the gold market. It's taking it over. Do you hear me? This year, 2017, Bitcoin is worth more than gold. A precious metal from the earth. A currency made digitally. It's worth something more than what comes from the planet. This is taking over. 
Boom. Trump's behavior caused the world to lose confidence in the dollar. August 18th. <laughs> yes, this is from today. Shout out Harry Dudroff, whoever you are, my, my brother. In the stock market's Trump bump has been accompanied by a steady drop in the value of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar ain't never had value. Since 1933, my buddy. <laughs> Shit ain't got no motherfucking value. Shit is worthless. Better hope when this shit plummet that you can light it up and create heat in your house. Because you're going to be cold. I'm telling you. And it's the greenbacks decline that has U.S. Santa Barbara professor Benjamin Jerry Cohen worried he's concerned about the future of the dollar as the world's ultimate safe haven. <laughs> Did you see what? Look at the look at the terminology. The ultimate safe haven <laughs> is what they use to keep our minds away from things that have real value. They use the dollar. They use the, these dollars to keep us away from the things that have the real value. Natural resources. Things from the earth, gold, silver, platinum. These things, the stuff that have the real value, petroleum, mercury. You hear me? Plants. These are the things that have real value, not money. People are starting to wake up. Forget Trump's behavior. It's people waking up. That's what's happening. <laughs> you woke, man. New currency and race to remake one of world's oldest markets. You hear this? About 27 billion of gold changes hands every day in over-the-counter markets where the settlements can sometimes take days, leaving price risk for buyers and sellers. Using blockchain promise more transparency, security, and speedier deals. <laughs> Y'all read what you're saying, man. Over gold, currency, bitcoins. And the first instrument to use blockchain has more than quadrupled in 2017 to more than $4,000. The cryptocurrency this year surpassed the price of gold for the first time. <laughs> oh, when was this? August 17th, my people. <laughs> Just printed. Federal Reserve. <laughs> Good, my people. How y'all doing out there? I hope everybody out there having a great day. <laughs> Oh, what the Federal Reserve then did? They done swap with foreign central bank total 36 million in the latest weeks. <laughs> oh, man. I guess that could be since we've been taking advantage of our accounts, huh? <laughs> Try to make, come on, man. Come on. The Federal Reserve provided 36 million of liquidity. Central banks in the latest week. Via a swap line for foreign central banks, the New York Fed said on Thursday, the European Central Bank swapped 35 million with the term of seven days at a rate of 1.66 percent. The Bank of Japan swapped one million with a term of seven days at a rate of 1.66 percent. <laughs> Man, look, come on now. Could they said no swap arrangement with man? I want to know why. <laughs> because of manipulation and the planning going on. That's the only way that they make money off of your birth certificate bond is death. War is coming. Death is coming. Coming. That's why they're doing these swaps. Y'all know how it go. They still they still trading on dead people's social security numbers on the stock market right now. They selling off your straw man bond as soon as you go away. As soon as you're gone. 
sometimes before you're gone because they know when you're going to pass away. The one right now in this instance. Come on now. You got to say, yeah, I got to have articles for my people, man. I know I just come with the little news, man. All my articles within the last day, two days. They breaking down on the news. They're trying to hide because it's subliminal in it. Either my something else. I'm trying to get all the subliminal messaging. I was becoming in tune with myself, man. Gain the energy. Like I said, spread peace and spread love on this planet back right. Throwing shades on the fast entrance rate path. Since breaking the leaps from around the globe and leading economic thinkers gathered at the end of the week ahead for annual synopsis, synopsism in Jackson Hole by Kansas City Federal Reserve. <sighs> yeah, they're having meetings. Yeah, they got to meet up about this one. Like, what are we going to do? We can't put it on CNN for it to stop. Because everybody that didn't know about it, now they're going to know about it. And they're going to try it regardless. So, fuck. What are we going to do? We got to do something. They're having meetings with my people. shaking their boots. The Federal Reserve has long been expected to begin unwind balance sheets soon. This is the practice of slowing selling. Is This is the practice of slowing of bonds the central bank bought in the years after the end of the Great Recession. <sighs> that soaked my people. What I was just talking about, dead people, and and they doing all these swaps with uh with banks. <laughs> Oh, man. The Federal Reserve has long been expected to begin unwinding its balance sheet soon. This is the practice of slowing selling of bonds the central bank bought in the years after the end of the Great Recession. The goal was to drive long-term interest rates down with the hope of kick-starting the economy. <laughs> okay. Right. Going through the article, my people, we doing this together. While there seems to be consensus regarding reducing its 4.5 trillion stockpile of bonds, there appears to be a growing split over the Fed's plan regarding short-term interest rates. The group has raised its target interest rate twice this year and has been expected to hike it once more. <laughs> ah, my people. 4.5 trillion stockpiles of bonds. That's our shit. That's all ours. <laughs> That's all us. But check this out, my people. Look, look what these fools is doing in goddamn Wisconsin, man. Look what these fools is out here. Fools. Complete fools. Dummies. Wisconsin company holds party to implant workers with microchips. And parties. <laughs> to insert their employees with the microchips, man. I don't, I don't, I don't think y'all understand this, man. <laughs> These mugs held a party. These mugs was happy to do it. Oh, you want to put a microchip in me? By golly, go ahead. Right on ahead. You're gonna know where I'm at at every moment. Up to my body now. You release any sense into my body with that microchip. You can make me become your slave. Look. Oh, it's, it's a, a painless process. All in your hand. Then boom, we insert the microchip into you. Now you can open the door with your hand. 
open the door with your hand. <laughs> now you can clock out with your hand. Does he look happy? Does he look happy, my people, to be doing this? <laughs> he's trying to act like he's happy going to party. Does he look happy? He's supposed to be at a party. Does he look happy? <laughs> look at his face. Look at his face, too. Why aren't the people happy? I thought they were at a party. <laughs> They tripping, man. Look, my people, they got an agenda that they wrote out the plan for hundreds of years ago. And they trying to enforce that agenda right now. We got to comply. <laughs> Real talk. They got over half the people to do it. 41 of the company's 85 workers actually volunteered to take part in the chip party. 41 brainwashed subjects. <laughs> These plans was wrote years ago, my people. These microchips next is putting you in a FEMA camp. I'm trying to tell you, man. Did y'all even know? That they got a national microchip day already. <laughs> yeah. For so all y'all taking your pets to the vet and all that. Y'all got chips in your pet. Y'all see it right here. Y'all see it right here. In honor of National Check the Chip Day, August 15th. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, man. National Check the Chip Day. They put microchips in your dog for 10 bucks. Come on, man. Where y'all make the microchips at? In the basement? <laughs> 10 bucks, man. That's what y'all tell me microchip worth? God damn. Shit's crazy, man. Look what they doing, man. Look what it says. The LASPCA says microchips are not a form of GPS. Look, look what they say after it, though. Instead, they contain a unique serial number that, when scanned, allows the finder to look up the contact information associated with that chip. What the fuck? If that's not GPS explained... <laughs> How is it in the form of GPS, but when it's scanned, it can look up the contact information? Come on now. But it's not a GPS. They're putting GPSs in your freaking pets. They know where you're at, too. You letting them put fucking chips in your dogs and in your cats and your animals. They got your whole house GPS up anyway, chipped up anyway, because we all got smartphones and we all got technology as far as laptops and smart TVs, smart refrigerators, smart dishwashers, smart fucking tables, <laughs> tablets, smart cars. <laughs> Everything is smart, huh? We the only ones that's not smart. We the dummies. But we using all these smart products. Everything has smart making us look dumb. Like you need this to be smart. You want to drive? Got to get you a smart car. Oh, you want to talk on the phone? You want to text your buddies? You need a smartphone. You're too dumb to know how to do that type of stuff. You're too dumb to know how to contact people. We're going to split up. Oh, we're going to split up generations. By introducing social media. <laughs> you know how many people is fucking got anxiety and they don't even know it. They mess with people so much better online than in person. And why in person at clubs, at events, you still see circles of people with each other instead of everybody broken. 
in certain environments. It's just these circles of friends, these people you see every day, y'all just pay to get in this establishment and stand in a circle with some clothes on together. It's because of the social anxiety that's been placed in our psyche through this social media, through all this online stuff. People don't know what a pen pile is. People don't even know how to write a letterhead. You can ask somebody right now, send out a letter. Unless they've been to jail or know somebody in jail, you probably don't know how. And they get mail every day. We don't know what it is to get out here to connect face to face. We see certain people and get scared. <laughs> Come on, my people, it's time to wake up to the psychological hole, man. Like I said, having some problems with the MCA on some reversals. All you got to do is call in to that number. I'm telling y'all. Call in to that number. And verify your account. And you good. They're going to say thank you. Then you're going to hang up. And you're going to get your commission payment. I just got mine this morning. I'm telling y'all, man. But I'm telling y'all, man. We got to stay on top of this, man. We got to spread the love, spread the peace. I know I've been gone, man. I miss chopping it up with my people, man. I only got about two watchers right now. I know this is my new channel. Ain't nobody really following me. I just feel disconnected from the people, man. I'm trying to push this peace. I'm trying to push this love, man. This positive energy, man. And there's a lot of people out here just focused on money. I'm trying to get that money out of my people's head, man. I'm trying to get back on that platform where I got my people where I can chop it up with them. See, because I'm still trying to get this tour going, still trying to get out here to these cities, man, do these motivational speeches, get these workshops going with these informational packets, all the UCC one form information if you want that, or the sovereignty options, paperwork if you want that. I'm trying to build up this fund and build this sovereign community, man. I'm trying to give me some rural land and build up, build off some acres, live off the land. Off the grid, man. There's people, there's plenty of people out here doing it. Let's get to it, my people. I ain't gonna keep you off for too long, man. You know, like I said, I ain't got all my people to chop it up with. I miss chopping it up with my people, but I do appreciate. I got two views right now. I definitely appreciate y'all, man. If y'all subscribers, please go subscribe and please go support my other channel, Levitate Entertainment, and keep this peace going, keep this love going. That's what I'm all about. All right, my people. Y'all know what it is. Levitate your mind. Levitate your thinking. Levitate your life. And you will never come down. Spread peace. Spread love. Stay positive. And always stay woke. Peace, my people.